Right, evening boys. I'm looking at this uh, dressing mirror. It's rather an interesting one. It's actually quite quick. So uh, this is what we're aiming to get to. So we'll all end up with this drawing here, which hopefully, if I can press the right button, it's not working there. Uh, we be able to get it all exactly the same and you might not need as many dimensions as that but just a few and uh, that's what we're aiming at so here we go getting underway new drawing standard millimeter IPT origin XY now the first thing that I do is I start out by doing a 1050 vertical straight up 1050 tab 90 degrees what have I done now good okay um, and I press return on that then I come down the bottom here and I'll fly left 220 and uh, yeah I'll press return on that and then I'll just click on there just to say well hold on that's how that's how big it is okay then what I want is I want a line here that rises 150. Oh man, I would do it squiff. Command Z. Let's try that again. I suppose it's a funny mouse I've got here. For trouble. See, in the moment I think I've got it straight, it moves off. Stay there. I've got to change something here. Move some rubbish out the way. Okay, let's try that again. I need it vertical. 150. Okay. Um, and and I'm going to move out ha, a distance of typical. It's not on my printed sheet. 110. So I want to move out 55. I think I had written that down somewhere. So that distance is 55 out. Apologies for that. Um, so I'm moving out 55. Looked a bit silly there for a moment. 55. Okay. So I've got a start and an end there. Okay. Now, to make this work, I'm going to drop vertically about 30. Okay. Then I'm going to come back here, and I knew I rose 150, so I'm going to go 75. And I'm going to do a distance out of exactly half. This all looks very complicated right now. Half of the 220, which is 110. Now, it looks like a complicated process, but now I'm going to grab the spline tool. And if I've done the right thing, I should be able to get a reasonably good curve by giving myself these points. Now, that might be wrong. Let's just try and see what it looks like. That looks pretty Yeah. Okay say no more. Um, I'm going to add a line over here and I'm going to rise 30 mils just like I did at the top. Okay, good. Now let's see whether we can get a better spline because that one is no good at all. Click, 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 click and click. Good. I quite like that. I think that's quite good. And I'm going to take the opportunity of removing this line because that's not really necessary. And that one's not necessary either. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, I was a bit faster on removing that line. I better come back in and uh, rise, I believe it was 75. Um, that's too high. 45. And... Uh, Let's just come out a distance of, say, 45 again. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the spline tool again, and I'm going to go click, and click, and pull it down in over here to a point about there, and then vertically straight down, and I do like that. Notice how I've not given it any specific dimensions. I'm doing a bit of free here, and, and I'd like you to have that kind of freedom. Okay, up here, I'm going to do a circle of 66. And then I'm going to start a line at this point. And I'm going to rise until I hit the tangent. It's important that you get the tangent. Okay. I'm going to trim that little piece and that little piece. <coughs> <coughs> 
Ooh, excuse me. And um, I'm going to grab the mirror tool and I'm going to select this one and that one. And I hope I don't sneeze again. <coughs> Bless me. Apply and done. All right, I'm going to trim out the middle line because I don't really want it there. And uh, these little bits down here don't really matter anymore. Even though I'm trimming them 20 times, they're still there. And uh, isometric it. And, oh, I should have done a little bit more trimming up the top there. So there's just a little bit more to do. Edit sketch. I didn't really want that line to run around the bottom. So here we go. That's that and that gone. Grab extrude. And uh, we're going to make it 25. It's quite thick, but it is quite a big piece. Okay, immediately I know that I'm going to, well you don't, but I know, I'm going to do a 210 is offset from plane, so I'll click on there and I'll come out 210. Gives me with the 420. And then I'm going to grab mirror and I'm going to grab the whole feature and I'm going to grab the mirror plane which I've just put in and I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to Ask that working plane just to disappear into invisibility for a moment. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not sure whether I've got a good curve down here, but of course everybody's different, so I'm quite happy if you do your own one there. Now, if I've done this correctly, that vertical plane will be straight up the middle. So let me just take a look from the side. Look at that, spot on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that vertical plane. And I'm going to click on sketch. Now why it rolls onto its side I don't know but what we're going to be doing here is we'll grab project geometry and just touch the inner edges there and there and then we'll grab a rectangle and make sure it's the right one because I'm on something funny there and I'm going to start on that line I'm going to pull it across and I, it should be 420 tab 75. Now Oh, obviously I tacked that up, didn't I? So let me press escape and command Z. Let me see if I can do that with a little bit more brains. Okay, so it's... 75, tab, 420. Okay, and we'll grab extrude. We'll make sure we do it in both directions and it'll be 25 again. And we will be happy with that. Okay. Pretty good. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the, the mirror frame itself. Now, I didn't find this easy. It didn't just jump out and work for me. So there's a few steps to it, so you'll have to be patient. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do project geometry, and I'm going to touch these three edges. Okay, that gives me a starting point. And then I'm going to zoom in pretty, pretty close. And... You know, I like to put a little square in the corner. I want an offset of six. Six, tab, six. And that gives me a starting point. And immediately, I'm going to come across over here. If I can get there. And I'm going to produce another little rectangle. Which is six, tab, six. Okay. Now, from that, I'm going to draw a rectangle, which touches that corner. I mean, you've got to zoom out a little bit here. It touch, come on, touches that corner. Come on, touch there, we go, touching the corner. Now the height is 1500. And that didn't work. You can see that it wasn't quite on the corner there, so let's try that again. On that corner, across to that corner there. Now, that's 408. Okay, so we're going to rise, 1500, tab 408, beautiful, exactly what I had in mind. I'm going to grab the trim tool, I'm going to come in on this corner and I'm going to get rid of this little contact. So those two can go, and I'm going to finish that sketch. Now, what I've got there in effect is the right thing. So 
I shouldn't finish the sketch. Back to edit the sketch. So I'm going to grab a rectangle and I'm just going to make it 45. Now I've got to get close enough to know that I'm doing the right thing here. So it's 45, tab 45. Great. Zoom out a little bit, come in on the opposite corner, zoom in to make sure that you're actually in the corner. It's 45, tab 45. Now some people would say, why haven't I used the offset tool? Interesting enough, the offset tool jumps sideways in this situation. I'm not quite sure why. So here we go. I'm going to do 140, tab 45, and exactly the same thing on the opposite corner here. One forty, tab forty five. Great. Now that gives me the opportunity now to draw a rectangle which starts there, comes up to here. Yeah, it'll do. Trim tool. I don't want that line, you know, and I really should make this out of four pieces. But right now, let's just get rid of these pieces. Let's extrude it as one big piece and call it a day. Obviously, if you were manufacturing it, you'd do it differently, wouldn't you? Extrude, grab the shape. I'm just going to look at it at an angle. I'm going to go in both directions again, still on the 25. And uh, there we go. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shape the top. And uh, new sketch. Oh, it stopped. Let's try again. It didn't like that at all. Press escape. New sketch. Okay, pull it in. Now I need to project geometry and I am going to give you the freedom to decide how you'd like to do it. I'm going to kind of give some hints. The one option is that I come down here about 450. In fact, this is the easiest of the easy options. Click up to the top. Because I've already projected that geometry, I'll have these lines outside. So it's just a matter of, I don't need to remove all of these, but I may as well. Finish that sketch. Zoom in a little bit. Grab extrude. Change it to cut. And remove that little piece. And that little piece. And there you go. Okay, now I'm actually not going to go any further with this particular drawing. I mean, I could start fiddling with color and all sorts of things. Instead, I'm going to save it. And for me, it's dressing mirror number three. All right, now I need to get myself around to a dimension drawing. That's this one here. So I'm going to go new. And you'd note it's an ISO IDW and that there are three things that I need to change. Edit sheet. One is A4 and manage styles editor. Two things to change here. Default view preference, change it to third angle and then go to dimension, default ISO, precision to zero, after the trailing edges, done, save, place views, base. Now I don't want that view, I actually want that view as my starting view. I'm just going to pull it up slightly so I've got space around it. don't know why I've got two lines across the middle of my drawing. It happens. Right click, create. Yeah, I might just, do you see the little red dotted square? I might just pull that down very slightly. It gives me a little bit more space because this line here that looks like terrible right now, it'll disappear in a moment because it's not really supposed to be there. Oh, one thing. Back to Manage, Styles Editor. Under the Dimension button, I need to go to Display, and I'm just going to make them red. So Dimensions are now red. Okay, that just makes your life just a little bit easier. They're more obvious. Annotate. We better give ourselves that height there. Now that was a failure. Escape. Try again. Must be late at night. Yeah, 1083. Hmm. I thought it was 1050. Okay, 
Oh, I know why, because I added the 33 of the radius. So that's just fine. That's no problem. 440. Um, I might add a dimension of this piece here. If I can get it to come in. It's there. It should be 75. There you go. Good. Top of there. Now, you've got to be careful because it's not that corner, it's this one. Um, I'm not going to line these two up this time. Usually I line them up, but because they're in different positions, that should be 1500. And we'll do an outside edge, which should be, I think, at 408. Excellent. And I better do a dimension in over here to say how wide this is. And gentlemen, there we go. Okay, so not very many dimensions on there. If you were going to make it, obviously you'd start fiddling around with a lot more than that. Um, but for right now, I think that's a fairly good result. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go Dressing Mirror 3. Yep, that'll do me. And, uh, yeah, all done and dusted. Thank you. And